this session I'm going to focus primarily on animations, how to customize animations in PowerPoint 2013. There are a couple ways to do this. Uh, there is the tab here for transitions as to how the slides will transition from one to the other. This is not really recommended that much. You don't see it as much because you want to minimize transitions and the distractions from for the audience and uh, again it is the point is to sell the product rather than just uh, show and have things flying from every which direction if you needed to change the uh, how each slide will transition you can change it from here simply click on it and it will apply then you can apply it to all the slides the next thing that i wanted to actually focus on is animation Right now, if we present this PowerPoint, and I'll press F5 here to present it, notice there is not really any uh, animation taking place here. All the objects here are showing up at the same time once I click. So what you can do is we can customize this animation. I'm going to go to one of the slides that has more objects here. So I'm going to go to this one here and just take out this table and then customize it so that the different objects that we have here come in a different order. So first, uh, this has nothing to do with this session, but, uh, or, but let's make this font a little bit larger because if you notice, it is only 16. And as I had mentioned earlier, it's best the font to be at least 24 so that the audience can view it. Now, first let's place some kind of animation for these bullets here if we wanted to. So what you do is you click anywhere and then you click on animations. Under animation, the best thing that I find here is that you can actually add this animation pane. Animation pane puts this stuff here on the right hand side where we can see what's happening and when. Now we could say that for this area here where we have the bullet list, we want to add animation and we click here and we can choose specific types of animation. Now again, keep in mind, you don't want to make it too flashy. It needs to be purposeful. But for now, I'm just demonstrating how the animation, how you can apply the animation to different objects, how to change the order of the objects, which comes first, and also how to pair things together. So let's say we wanted this um, to fly in. All of these, they'll fly in. Now notice it added here as soon as I chose to add animation and to choose fly in, it added this section so that all of these that say one are going to come together. All of these that come uh, have two, they'll come together at the same time when presented. So if I test this, it would be shift F5 to present it. I tap on the mouse. Notice the images are put here. They are not coming in by themselves part of the page and now notice these are coming together the way if you see here on the right hand side and uh, on the animation pane and we expand this you'll see that you have all of these different options now notice this says the right click on image notice it says it will come with a previous and and that will come with a previous item that means it's going to come with the section here from the web. If I wanted this right click bullet here to come by itself, all you have to do is you can click on the drop down and then you choose start on click. Or you could time it so it comes after a certain time. However, the timed events are not really that great in a business presentation. So we click here on start with click and now you'll notice that we have this is number one this is going to be number two and number three all of these together so now if i go and present this you know this number one by itself number these other ones will come together and then that together the three of them together now if we want to customize them further Let's say I want this to come up the, you know, the back to PPT and paste. Let's say I want that to come together with uh, number one, for whatever reason, I can move that up higher and notice it says it's going to come with the previous option. So now if I present it again, shift F5, notice the first and the third item, they're together presented. 
So you can see basically in this case, you can actually just simply change the order, just drag those up or down and then reassign them. Notice how it's, this says on click, you can change it so it comes with the previous one or it can come timed as well. So that's how you change and you add animation to specific bullet lists. Now, as far as the images, it's pretty much the same idea. You can select the image and then you can click on add animation. And let's say I want that image to kind of, uh, let's make this kind of annoying, glow and turn and all that type of stuff. And notice now that's gonna be number four. So that means that it's gonna be the last thing to be presented. So if I go over here, present it, Notice that's number four. Now let's say that I want this image to come uh, as number two. All I have to do is drag it over here and then move it to the end of number one, basically. So now notice it says number two. Now if I present it again, notice we have number one. This was number one. There's the image. And then these are the other components. Now the next thing that you could do is you can bring this image the, at the same time as number one. And to customize that, all we have to do is change picture number one here to start with the previous. That means that whenever this number one comes, it'll bring also the picture down here. So we just changed it. Now let's present it. Notice number one, it's coming together. So you get the idea. It's basically add animation to different objects that you want on the page and then adjust the order as well. Let's say I want this Yahoo uh, logo here to come at a certain point. I can just click on it, add animation. Now it's gonna be number four. Let's say I want it to come at the same time as picture number one. I want to, for it to be displayed at the same time as bullet point number one. Now if I press Shift F5 to present this, notice all these three pieces or three components will be displayed at the same time. So again, it's a matter of tinkering with it and designing how you want things to appear and in what order. And of course, make sure it's meaningful. Now let me demonstrate something that uh, has to do with uh, smart art. Earlier I demonstrated uh, smart art, how to create it. But let's say you want it, um, because right now, if I present this, it comes all together in one piece. If I want this to come in different separate components, I need to add animation to this as well, to the smart art. So the way smart art, it works slightly different, but it's still similar idea. We have here the animation pane under the animations window. We click here on, after we have selected the smart art, we click on add animation and then we choose how you, we want the animation to appear. So let's say I wanted just simply a basic appearance of it. Now notice here, let's go back to where this was. I click on it. Notice there's a new area here where it says under the effect options, we have the option here for those to come all at the same time or as one object or one by one. So here we want one by one, each piece to come in one by one because it's more effective. In this case, let's present it so we have it one by one. And by the way, we can expand it here under the animation pane and see what's going to happen. Let's play it and present it. Now we have uh, the part of our process is to identify it. And then we have the next stage is to plan uh, and then to execute and then to review it. And this is our continuous improvement process and so on and so on. You kind of saw how that those pieces are more effective when they are presented separately. And you can do the same thing here with this other smart art. We can go here under, again, add animation, have whatever animation we want. Of course, we don't want to make it too annoying like that, but uh, so let's change it to a different one. And then under the effects, we can change this. Now notice, depending on the type of smart art that you have, you have different options. So for example, for floating up and down, that was because I chose the animation for up and down, and then the presentation options as well. 
So now if we go to present this, it's going to kind of be a little bit annoying because we have things flying from every which way. But that's what it is. So that's how animation works. Again, it can be time consuming depending on what you want to do and it must have a purpose in applying it. It's not just for the sake of having animation. Hopefully it's helpful. Stick on to these video tutorials. Uh, we'll go next into other features of it for presentations.